Four or five years, we've been using more and more 3D printed parts, uh, initially outsourcing them to other companies. But then each season we progress, we're using more and more bits, so we thought we need to start doing this ourselves, really. We use the Ray's 3D Pro 2 Plus, uh, which is great for us because of its large uh, print volume. It's really tall, so you can print like bonnet louvers, air intakes, all in one piece. Brake duct blanks, little supports for other little wings and, and turning vanes. We're using more and more every year. Really. Uh, so one of the things you 3D print are the air intake ducts, which is, which is this. It's actually printed in that orientation so we can get rid of all the support so it ends up quite smooth. We also print these little supports here so they just stop these two turning vanes from closing up and then blocking each other off. So we use three just to, to spread the load but they're, they're quite solid, don't usually break. Um, and then something else we print is caliper ducts which are just behind these blocked off squares here so we'll open them up when we need and then there's a duct on the back one either side that cool the calipers during the race. Uh, we also print our bonnet louvers um, these are another thing that's quite awkward we did a lot of trial and error with these because we ended up standing them up using the raises kind of long uh, high print volume uh, to use all the support structures so we can actually print and get a good surface on the top of these louvers and underneath because that's what's important for us with these these parts. Hi, I'm Barry Plam and I'm technical director at uh, Team Dynamics, the that works on the team. Uh, currently, we're using quite a few 3D printed parts uh, in a race car application, which enables us to change things, shape things differently uh, till we get the defined product. Uh, rather than go and manufacture something and then find out it's not what we want. It's pretty good, it allows us to uh, change the design overnight. But so if we want to modify it slightly or we find some better way of making it, we just change the design, send it down the internet to the 3D printer in the, in the development room and off it goes. And, and overnight, most things are done overnight, we get in the next morning and it's all uh, ready for us. So, Historically, we'd have to send that out, we'd have to get a mould made, and then we'd have to make a prototype part, make sure it fits, and that could take a number of weeks. With this, we can do it overnight. Major cost saving benefit as well for that, isn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah, massive cost saving benefits. You know, the material is quite affordable, um, you're not having to make a mould every time. So, on some parts of the, the intake, initially probably £2,000 saving on mould costs and then going on the part price is actually cheaper a lot of people think 3D printing is expensive but to make an air intake is a lot less than even if we were laying one up in a in a prepaid composite so yeah it's, um, it's definitely definitely moved us forward you don't have to use any moulds uh, or tooling so it's it cuts costs like that um, and obviously printing the parts ourselves lowers the costs as well so it's, it's brilliant really more and more customers we took on and the more and more parts we were printing ourselves, we thought we need to be doing this in house really. So we, then we went solo with that. They all have to come to us for select parts. So the printer with the rays that we've got is basically in operation 24 hours a day. It's never, it's never idle. So um, we're getting a lot of use out of it. So much so that we've actually we paid it off within within a season because we're using it just all the time. So it's great, definite pro for us to to do it ourselves. <laughs> So until after the last race this year, the majority of the parts that we used on our cars were all PLA. Um, you know, so that the printer does quite a good job, that's, that's PLA. Yeah. Good surface finish, cheap to print, fast to print, so yeah, PLA did the job for us for, for all this year. We're only now just starting to, to explore in, um, new materials, but yeah, up to now. PLA all the way. You know, as we go, we want to print more. You know, we're, we're, our steps are still not tentative, but 
we sometimes won't seek a solution where we don't need to, but I think there are other things on the car we can print going forward, and in the off-season we'll, we'll start to explore that a little bit more, start playing around with printing more stuff. So like I said, one of the projects uh, over this winter is exploring new materials, and, uh, and the guys at 3D GBR are great for any questions we've got, ring them up, they've got the print settings or little tweaks or cheats that they've got, so yeah, I'm really good to work with. In the